Interesting because of the uh, the subsidy removal that uh, the co the government of Nigeria, uh, President Good Luck Jonathan. Just the corruption. Exactly. No more corruption. No more four one nine. No Good more planning two. Exactly. No more two. Like, how could you re how could you remove a four subsidy? When you know the effect is going to go into place immediately on the on the poor people of Nigeria, this is the reason why we are protesting. You don't do such a thing like that. You don't deregulate. You don't remove subsidy when the impact is going to be more on the poor people rather than the rich people on top. So our resources are the reason why we are protesting. We have our government that is not our government. It's not a government for the people. It's for the government of IMF government, European government, United States government. Nigerian government does not represent regular Nigerians anymore. This is the reason why we are protesting. Okay. Uh, it, it is a shame on uh, Good Luck Jonathan. It is a shame on Ngozi Ewiala. This is not how a country is governed. When you, when you make regulation, when you remove subsidy, you think of your people, you think of the impact of your people, you put things in place to basically alleviate the negative impact that your legislation is going to uh, um, place on people. This is the reason why we are protesting. This is a bad government. Uh, uh, it's always been bad government for, for over 50 years. Uh, this is what we've been, we've been, Nigerian people will be very, very uh, bedeviled with our leadership. And uh, it's, it's quite shameful. You know, we just hope things can turn around. We hope the government can be restructured. That, that is the bottom line. But the focal point of this protest is the fuel subsidy. But more about what we are protesting about is the restructure of Nigerian government. We cannot continue to do this anymore. We cannot be running a government where majority of our money goes on paying people, where our senators, our House of Representatives get paid 27 million naira per month this is wasteful this is this is just bad and good luck jonathan i mean it's just a terrible president he looks stupid and he's also very very terrible this is the reason why we are protesting of the fuel subsidies so they don't take over Nigeria so that Nigerian people can afford to live. Okay. Support us! If you stand for nothing, you fall for everything. Remember that! Good afternoon, sir. Support us! <laughs>
subsidizing the World Bank. It is Nigerian people. That's right. It is why it is unacceptable that anybody should come and give us another Turenshi. Turenshi in Nigeria means big English. That's right. Yeah. You know, that they want to subsidize, familiarize, or deodorize <laughs> Nigeria. We don't need those kind of subsidies. We don't need those kind of familiarization. Like we don't want the deodorization of the Nigerian I society. Lie. We want the poor people in Nigeria to have access to their resources. That's yeah. right. And they are entitled to it. We don't need any World Bank graduate anymore. No. Yeah. We, don't need no. Any, we don't need any Harvard trained stupid no. woman. No. No. Tell us Saints, Saints. people. I went to Columbia University too, and I've seen that there's no subsidy in Nigeria. That's right. right. So if Ungozi went to Harvard, we went to Ivy League together. Yeah. So what is the big? What does she know that we don't know? Nothing. Nothing. I just want to say that this is a World Bank policy that is trying to destroy Nigeria so that the economic vultures can come and take over. Yeah. Very yeah. good. And what is sad today, people, is that the police armed by some of the loans they got from the World Bank has also been killing the Nigerian people. They have been killing us! They, they killed people today! They killed people today! They killed people, people, people today who are fighting for their livelihood, who are fighting for their livelihood, who are fighting for better life, which they are entitled to. So we are saying, without saying too much, because the less we say, the better, the better on the ground. Because when Ken Sarua was saying it before he was killed, that he'll be the last person who will preach peace. Yes. Nobody listened to him. They did not listen. But everybody knows better now. It costs more to combat war in the Niger Delta. If they had listened to Ken Sarua years ago, the, Niger, the, the Nigerian economy would have been a different place today. Yes. So we are the last peaceful people you can find. If this fails, and the Nigerian people decide to not turn the other cheek. It's a wrap. Don't blame it's me. A wrap. Don't blame anybody. Yes. Blame the World Bank because our blood is on their hands. It is on their hands. 
Blame the IMF. Blame the IMF. Blame the IMF. Blame the IMF. And blame the several other institutions and financial scams that they send around the world, driving around in SUVs that gas that takes more gas, by the way. Our people don't take SUVs around. They don't drive with cars. They take bicycles. They buy bicycle. 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 bikes. So our people are very conscious. We are not the ones consuming the oil. It's Americans with their big ass gas tanks that are consuming the oil. Yes, sir. It is you people who need big cars that you need to put your ego at the back of that you are driving around that are consuming the big oil. So we are the ones subsidizing you. And we are saying enough of the subsidy of the 1%. In 99% in Nigeria wants to take back their destiny. That's yes. right. And yes. the time is now. 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 that don't exist. Yes. No. no to the World Bank policies that have failed in the name of yes. social adjustment yes. programs. Yes. No. no to the IMF. And I tell you something, five years ago, Ungoze Ewela gave away 16 billion naira from Nigeria, paying back dubious debts. Ah, yeah. It's very true. And what he said five years ago was that if we pay back our debts, we will be able to save the money Nigeria to develop the infrastructure five years ago. <laughs> Have you ever seen any road that was built from the savings? No! no. She has come back again. That if we take away subsidies from the poor, we can use it to buy buses to take them around. Yesterday they launched 1,600 buses. Let me give you the calculation. New York City alone has 5,000 buses and there are only 8 million people in New York. Only? Yes. If you divide by arithmetic the buses they launched yesterday, that means every local government in will get only two buses. How can they take, where can that take you to? That cannot even take the school children in Nigeria anywhere. This also tell you that the woman has run out of ideas and I think she's plain stupid, economic stupid. So let the World Bank withdraw her back to her office job over here yes. Yes. and let Nigeria people be. That is why we call it Great Nigeria People! Great Nigeria People! Let us start by singing our national item. Arise, O Compatra! Yes. 
administration. We we command command the administration. For the death of innocent Nigerians. For the death of innocent Nigerians. The men is standing up. The men is standing up. Because after years of democracy, we have seen nothing. After all the billions we get from oil revenues, we have seen nothing. We have the so called Nigerian elites. Yes, so Siphoning our resources. Siphoning our resources. Buying mansions in Vienna. Buying mansions in Vienna. Buying mansions in London. Buying mansions in London. Buying mansions in Potomac. All your apartment in Potomac. Buying mansions in Potomac Park. Buying mansions in Potomac Park. Buying mansions in the French Riviera. Buying mansions in the French Riviera. When the Nigerian people cannot buy a cup of Gary. Nigerian girls are prostitutes in Italy because of our economic situation. Our boys are doing 419 because of our government. We call on them to step down. We call on them to step down. Unstoppable. Unstoppable. Nigeria. Yes. Power. Another one is possible. We are unstoppable. Another one is possible. We are unstoppable. Another one is possible. We are Contesté depuis ce matin, les manifestations ont commencé depuis Mafesson Square, pas très loin de la Maison Blanche, et ils ont fait un tour à la Maison Blanche. Et pour les gens de l'expression française, parce que tout a été fait ici en anglais, les frères nigériens protestent contre euh, le prix euh, du carburant, et ils protestent contre... Euh, la politique des, du gouvernement nigérien, ils disent que la majorité de ces gens-là qui instaurent la mauvaise politique au Nigeria sont venus de cette banque, la Banque mondiale. Et ils sont venus manifester contre cette politique et contre la politique du président Jonathan. Lui, Jonathan, qui dit que euh, les Américains euh, pensent qu'ils ils, ils sont en train de rendre un service au gouvernement nigérien dans les affaires euh, d'huile. Et, et de carburant. Et selon eux, euh, le Nigeria a tout à perdre parce qu'ils disent que euh, la, la communauté internationale, plus précisément les États-Unis d'Amérique, viennent exploiter l'huile au Nigeria, viennent exploiter les subsistances au Nigeria et les Nigériens n'ont rien en retour. Ils disent que quand on compare la ville de New York seulement, le nombre de bus qu'il y a à New York ne permet même pas à deux, euh, s'il faut les diviser par état euh, au Nigeria, ça veut dire que chaque état au Nigeria n'aura que deux bus. Et que pour eux, ces deux bus ne peuvent même pas aider les étudiants qui vont à l'école à euh, utiliser le transport public. Euh, beaucoup de critiques ont été faites ici. Et c'est ce qu'on voit généralement euh, dans les rues, euh, c'est que les, 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 les citoyens africains, commence à penser qu'ils en ont marre euh, de la politique extérieure en Afrique. Ils pensent que euh, l'Afrique devrait arrêter de souffrir. Et ils disent que la politique que les étrangers viennent instaurer en Afrique, c'est juste pour leur profit et leur bénéfice. Et c'est pour ça que la communauté nigériane aujourd'hui est sortie des maisons pour venir manifester leur mécontentement contre la politique du président Jonathan et ses gouvernants, contre les, les, les leaders, euh, le, le ministre des Affaires financières et de l'énergie à Washington, euh, qui euh, a travaillé, selon eux, ici à la Banque mondiale et qui a été affecté euh, au Nigeria. Pour eux, la politique que ce ministre euh, instaure au Nigeria ne profite pas à la population nigérienne. Donc, nous vous avons fait vivre cet événement. Euh, comme d'habitude, nous serons toujours là pour faire, pour vous tenir en alerte euh, contre tout ce qui est de va et vient ici, euh, dans la communauté africaine précisément. Euh, nous sommes euh, justement là en train d'écouter les intervenants de cette manifestation. Euh, vous les avez vus une par une, un par un. Afri, mon Afri TV n'a plus que résumé pour vous en français un seul mot. L'Afrique devrait arrêter de souffrir. Les, les communautés européennes, américaines viennent en Afrique pour piller l'Afrique. Et c'est pour ça que la, la, les Africains aujourd'hui ont commencé à se lever pour passer leur message à cette communauté. Leur dit arrêtez, vous avez assez pillé l'Afrique, assez pour, la, pour, pour les Africains de souffrir comme ça. Donnez un peu à l'Afrique, donnez un peu 
à ceux qui désirent, désirent euh, euh, profiter des fruits de l'Afrique, c'est-à-dire la population. C'est pour ça que euh, vous allez toujours voir des manifestations comme ça. Et ils ont pensé que leur cible à tagler, c'est Washington DC. Ils ont critiqué la politique du président Barack Obama parce qu'ils disent que il sont, ils font partie de ceux-là qui n'aiment pas l'Afrique. Dans l'Afrique, mon Afrique TV, Doudou Teclé Ngoulé, c'est mon nom. Nous sommes là à la Banque mondiale euh, pour vous faire vivre cette manifestation de nos frères nigériens dont nous sommes de tout cœur en solidarité parce que comme dit le Nigeria, Africa must stop suffering. L'Afrique doit arrêter de souffrir au 21e siècle. Ça en est assez, ça en est trop. Enough is enough, comme on dit. Et il est temps que les populations africaines commencent à, à se lever et parler pour leur communauté. Nous n'allons pas arrêter de vous faire vivre ces événements. Elles sont à venir et continuent à arriver. Mais déjà, nous disons bravo pour ces Africains qui ont commencé à être courageux, à se lever et à dire haut et fort ce qu'ils pensent de la politique en Afrique, de ce qu'ils pensent de la politique de ces gouvernants et de ces gouverneurs en Afrique qui n'ont pas pitié de la population, qui sont là juste pour piller nos pays et pour venir s'enrichir dans les pays extérieurs. L'étudiant tout à l'heure qui a, qui, a, qui a intervenu a parlé de ceux-là qui pillent la est représentée ici à Washington. Pour, oui, le FMI, merci madame, le FMI, pour euh, vous faire suivre la deuxième partie de cette manifestation. Doudou Teclé Ngoulé, c'est mon nom. Afri, mon Afri TV, nous resterons connectés toujours. Votre servante auditrice, je serai toujours là pour vous rendre ce service. L'Afrique devra arrêter de souffrir. C'est le message du 21e siècle. Et ensemble, tous nous... Fight corruption, not the people. 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 Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters. On behalf of the AFL-CIO, I want to I want to express to you the solidarity of the American labor movement for the brothers and sisters standing up for economic justice in Nigeria. We were, I was on the phone this morning with leaders from the Nigerian Labor Congress, NLC, and they wanted to convey a message to you at this rally. I have that message here, and I will read it to you to listen to, please. Okay. Comrades, on behalf of the Nigerian Labor Movement, I wish to thank you for standing in solidarity with us as we begin our nationwide strike, protesting our government's decision to remove fuel subsidies resulting in the more than doubling for fuel costs overnight. This action was taken without adequate consultation and without regard for the well-being of the Nigerian people and will adversely affect the working class in our country. It is precisely because the policy prescriptions of the World Bank and the IMF are swallowed whole by our government without regard for the socio-economic impacts on our people that we find ourselves in this situation today. Let me assure you that the Nigerian labor movement will not back down in this struggle. We will not allow this assault against the working class in our country to continue unopposed. In the days ahead, we are very concerned about the conduct of the security forces in Nigeria as it relates to our people protesting this decision by government. We appreciate that you have brought your voice to the World Bank and IMF so that they know we are not alone in this struggle. We thank you for your solidarity and support. An injury to one is an injury, injury to all. all. An injury to one is an injury, is an injury to all. Comrade Owe Lakemfa, General Secretary, Nigeria Labor Congress, NLC. Thank you. We're here protesting like the rest of you all. We're born in America, we're raised in America, but we're Nigerian blood. We continue to see our family members struggle while there we see uh, new billionaires popping up in Nigeria. This is not right. We all, whoever in there can handle this, that's what needs to happen. Or yes. whoever in there needs to let Nigeria go, take them off their list, let us be self-sufficient and take care of our own people. That's what needs to happen. That's what we're here for. Nigeria is a country that is built on family. We are a community. We are together. That's right. Let's start behaving. This is my sister. You are my brother. This is my auntie. This is my uncle. It's time that we child. took care of one another. Let's stop being selfish. What I have, we all have. Let's stop being selfish.
stuff. This is not the mentality that we grew up with. Now they want to be here as if they don't know. We are telling you today that you do know and you need to change it. So y'all yeah, pack your load and go. Hi, how you all doing? Great Nigeria. Great Nigeria. All right. Uh, it's good to see so many people here today on a very short notice uh, for a very, very important reason. Um, as a representative, representative of Amnesty International, we've been monitoring what is going on in the country and we are not very happy. Uh, we are very concerned about uh, the role of the police in trying to put down the protests. We had that there has been some death uh, killings today uh, More people. Uh, due to the protests. Uh, we are calling on the, on the Nigerian government to exercise maximum restraint uh, in dealing with protesters. We also call on the government of Nigeria to respect the rights of the citizens to peaceful protest. Uh, we, uh, by the same token, we are calling on a lot of the oil, big oil companies in the Niger Delta uh, to really clean up their pollution. But uh, three weeks ago, we learned that the Shell oil uh, kind of spill one of the biggest oil uh, in the Niger Delta. Uh, we are calling on the, on the oil companies, particularly, uh, particularly Shell oil, uh, to really put in place a real plan uh, that can really clean the, uh, the oil pollution in the, in the Niger Delta and make the people of Niger Delta whole for the loss of livelihood that they have suffered uh, from this oil pollution in their country. Uh, I, as a, on a personal note, as a Nigerian, not speaking as an amnesty, I was very appalled you know, by this decision by the Nigerian uh, government uh, to raise this price increase uh, on a short notice. That is a very rude uh, New Year uh, present for Nigerians. And with no adequate thinking about how they're going to uh, shock the impact uh, of this oil uh, uh, increase on the 99% of Nigeria who lives on less than $2 a day. Uh, I feel that this, personally, I feel that this uh, decision is very cold-hearted, it's very insensitive, and I also hope that the Nigerian government will see good reason in making sure that uh, they really uh, think twice about this uh, subsidies and uh, do something about it. So I just bring you a lot of society message to Nigerians from Amnesty International, letting them, people of Nigeria know that Amnesty is with them in these times of greatness and that we are calling on the Nigerian government to really exercise maximum restraint in uh, dealing with protesters around this issue. Thank you and the show definitely continue. We're here to tell you that the policies that this bank and the fund over there, the International Monetary Fund, have been promoting since 1980, those policies have failed. They failed in Nigeria, they failed in the United States, they failed in Greece, they failed all over the world, but still they are forcing Nigeria to end its subsidies. Still they are forcing liberalization, privatization, budget cuts. Still they say, you must, you must uh, shrink yourself, you must grow less so you can grow more. It is a kind of paradoxical, th par paradoxical thinking. If we grow less, we cannot grow more. It's, it's just impossible, it's not going to happen. What we need is investment. We need yes. investment in the people. Yes. Why does Nigeria have so much oil? Well, why does Nigeria not have its own oil refineries? Why? 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 why are we not making our own diesel? Why are we not making our own petrol? Why are we not deciding our own subsidy policy, whatever it may be? Why are those policies being decided by the World Bank, by the IMF, and by graduates from the World Bank and the IMF who have come back to, to lead us? Huh? to lead us from these institutions. We say no, the people can lead, the people can decide their own destinies. Yes. The failures in Europe, the failures in the United States will not lead to success in Nigeria. That's right. Yes. The failures of these policies cannot be replicated in Nigeria. We will not go through what Europe is going through right now. We will not go through what Nigeria went through 20 years ago and continues to go through. We want a new Nigeria. We want a new Africa. We want a new planet that exists for the 99% and not for the 1%. Yes. For the 99% and not for the 1%. Yes. And my daughter wants to sing a song for you. Aww. Was it Solidarity Forever? <laughs> Solidarity Forever Solidarity Forever Solidarity Forever We shall always fight for our rights Soli, Soli, Soli Solidarity Forever Forever. We 
Justice Network. Africa Faith and Justice Network. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, my brothers and sisters, I, we've heard a lot of things about what is going on wrong here. I just want to point out to two things. First, the first time we had external advisor about structural adjustment program in Nigeria, there was a free fall. Right. Everything just went berserk. The, we, uh, the, we lost the middle class, and from there, everything went off. Right. Now we continue to impose models from outside on the country without attending to the culture within the country. What do I mean by culture here? I'm talking about the economic culture. I'm talking about the economy of uh, the culture of politicians who see the country as a personal property. I'm talking about the lack of the rule of law. So as long as we have, we have not attended to those issues, and continue to impose models from abroad and bring experts from outside, nothing is going to go right. So let us urge the world community who are looking for the benefits of Nigeria to first and foremost force the leadership to look after the interests of the people to make sure they put their house in order before we talk about any other model imposed from outside. Watch this. Immediately the people started protesting. The president said he's cut the salaries. Who is he kidding? You know, the same politicians will go to the assembly and increase their allowances yeah, yeah. to the tune of 25% or more. So they're so that, that, that kidding us. The, the, sad, the sad thing here is that they continue to insult the intelligence of Nigeria. You know? and that, that, that has to stop right now. You know? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. And also, there, there is corruption within the oil company. You know? And instead of setting right the corruption within the oil companies, you impose burden on the people. You know? Gas flaring. Hey, we're from Nigeria.